guys, this is Dawn with Fantastic Friends, and today I am bringing you another easy and yummy recipe. Today we are going to make pineapple upside down cupcakes. Yep, you heard that right. Instead of making the whole cake, we're going to make individual pineapple upside down cupcakes. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you're gonna need to do is take a third of a cup, which I believe is five tablespoons of melted butter and two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, which I already have here. And we're gonna go ahead and get that all mixed together because we're going to put this in the bottom of our jumbo muffin, muffin tins. Because this is going to be the, you know, the ooey gooey part that comes down on top of your pineapple and cherry that's on the top of your pineapple upside down cake. Now I have one of my jumbo muffin tins right here. I have another one to the side over here. And I have my oven already preheated at 350 degrees. So once we get all of this going, I'll be throwing these in the oven to go. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this. Now, the recipe says this is supposed to make about nine of these cupcakes. So I'm gonna come over here and fill three more tins. So it looks like about a tablespoon. I'm using a teaspoon right now, but it looks like I'm just guessing about a tablespoon or so of this butter and sugar mixture is how much you need to put in each of your tins. And then I have a can of sliced pineapple that I've already drained the juice from because we're going to use that juice in our cake mix. So take your sliced pineapple and lay that in the bottom. of your muffin tin. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the three that are over here. And then pour the, there's a little bit more juice in there and then you have your cherries that and you're gonna put one right there in the middle of your sliced 
pineapples. Okay. Okay, guys, so now we've got the prep done there. So now let's make our cake batter. Now you can use, oh, I've got pineapple juice everywhere. You can use a yellow cake mix, which is typically what is used, but I happen to have a pineapple cake mix in the pantry. So why not? Why not go ahead and use a pineapple cake mix? So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and follow the instructions on the back of the box and I'm gonna use, instead of a cup of water, I'm gonna use a cup of pineapple juice, which came out of the can. And then I'm gonna use the three eggs and the oil that was on the back of the box. And I'm going to go ahead and beat up the cake mix, because that's going to take a couple minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, the cake mix is done. So now, we're going to divide this up into our muffin tins. Okay, and I'm gonna finish the other ones off camera. Now these go into a 350 degree oven for about 22 to 25 minutes. Now everybody's oven is different, so I suggest that you keep an eye on them, probably starting at the 20 minute mark, because you do not want these to dry out. So guys, I'm gonna keep an eye on these, and when they're done, I'll be back. Okay, the pineapple upside down cupcakes just came out of the oven. So we're gonna let them cool and then we'll try to invert them and see how they came out. So guys, I'll be back in just a little while once they're cool. Okay guys. I flipped them out, and oh my goodness, look at these adorable little pineapple upside down mini cakes. Well, cupcakes, but I'm going to call them mini cakes. Aren't they adorable? And I cannot wait to taste one. But I haven't had dinner yet. So I do not want to spoil my dinner. So I am going to wait until after dinner to give one of these adorable little pineapple upside down cupcakes a taste. And then we'll come back and I'll let you know how they are. But I'm pretty sure these are going to be very yummy. So guys... Just wanted to give you a peek at how these turned out. Now you'll notice there's 10 here. If you make this recipe exactly like I did in the video, make sure you do a 10th one. This one right here didn't have any sugar and butter in the tin. I just took some of the leftover butter and sugar that was still in the tin when I turned these over and I just scraped it out and put it on top of that one but there was there's 10 slices of pineapple in the can but when I was scooping out the batter there was still enough batter for a tenth 
cupcake. So I took the last pineapple slice and another cherry and made a tenth one. And as you can see, there was plenty to make ten. So just go ahead and make ten. There's more than enough to make ten of these pineapple upside down cupcakes, okay? So make sure you put sugar and butter in ten of the uh, muffin tin holes. Okay, guys, I will be back. A little bit later on today um, after dinner so that we can cut one of these open and go ahead and give it a taste so I'll be back later okay guys I am so ready to taste these upside down pineapple cupcakes so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half so we can see the middle. Oh, it looks really moist. Here I go. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just going to pick this up and eat it just like this. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mmm. And guys, make sure you keep an eye on them with your oven. Mine only took the 22 minutes, so I did not even have to go the full 25. So, when I checked them at 20 minutes, um, they were like, almost done so i only let them go like another two minutes and then bam they were done these are perfect i mean they are like not dry at all and they are completely um baked all the way through so if i had let them go even like another five minutes they would have been dry so definitely keep your eye on them while they're baking Oh, but as you can see, I've got some of them boxed up, and I've got several more boxed into another pan. So hopefully, I can give some of these away to some neighbors. So guys, if you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll take just a second to hit the like and the subscribe button, because it's free. And it would definitely help out my channel. And as always, love, hugs, and kitty kisses. See you next time.